CCC by New Dimension Media, the new leader in video on demand. For information, please visit our website at ndmccc.com or call 1-800-633-5633. When author and inventor Ray Kurzweil last spoke at the National School Boards Association's Technology and Learning Conference 12 years ago, he made what seemed like a bold prediction at the time. Turns out, he was right on the money. I predicted we would be using computers to, re to do research and that we would be rarely going to physical libraries. That seemed pretty absurd back in 94 when there was no online research material. Uh, but now think about how you do research very casually. I mean, in a few minutes, you use search engines, you can find what any teacher or professor has said, you can find out anything about any, anybody. Kurzweil, who has been described as the ultimate thinking machine by Forbes magazine, was back at this year's conference to share a new set of predictions about the future. His main point, the power of technology to transform our lives is growing exponentially. The power of this type of technology is accelerating, it's doubling every year, and there's going to be one key message I'd like to share with you, that's very explosive growth. The price performance, the capacity, the bandwidth of information technology doubles every year. That's multiplying by a thousand in 10 years, a billion in 30 years. Why such exponential growth? We use the latest generation of technology to evolve the next generation. That's an idea many planners overlook. But this exponential rate of change also has important implications for students. The first industrial revolution extended our physical reach. We're now extending our mental reach. And both of these industrial revolutions have been eliminating jobs at the bottom of the skill ladder, creating new jobs at the top of the skill ladder. So the skill ladder has moved up, and that puts more emphasis on education. A pioneer in the field of text-to-speech synthesizers, Kurzweil demonstrated two new technologies his companies have developed. A portable handheld camera, that enables the blind or visually impaired to read printed materials wherever they go, and a translating telephone that will become a routine service for your cell phone or your PC in the next decade. Within a few years, comma. We will be able to talk to anyone, comma. Wir werden fähig sein, zu jemandem zu reden. Regardless of their language. Period. Ohne Rücksicht auf ihre Sprache. Kurzweil's predictions at this year's conference? Early in the next decades, computers will disappear. They won't be these little objects we carry around. They'll be an embedded web of computing in the environment, in our clothing. Uh, we'll be online all the time with very high bandwidth wireless connection. Images will be written into our retina. That'll solve this dilemma between having a very large screen but also having small devices. We'll have these tiny devices that write very large images onto our retina so you could have a virtual screen, high definition that floats in the air, or that takes over your whole visual field of view for full immersion virtual reality. Or you could have augmented real reality. So as you look around the world, you'll have a little pop-up display. It's already cars that uh, with a navigation system is not a little display off to the right but is actually in uh, the window in front of you so as you actually look at the road there's actually an image superimposed on the actual road that shows you exactly where to go well this will be built into our eyeglasses you look at someone a little pop-up will appear reminding you it's their birthday next Tuesday reminding you what their name is and that would be helpful <laughs> and we'll have effective language translations uh, all of this will continue to make this a smaller world uh, and will benefit the kind of communication that education depends on. Reporting for eSchool News, I'm Dennis Pierce.